Do you guys believe in Bigfoot? Would okay. you take 30 grand on the Beanie Babies? Those are factory seal Pokemons. Those can get graded. They're worth like 800 to 1200. All these yeah. are sealed? Yeah, all these are sealed. I'll give you a hundred bucks. Okay. And I'll just keep adding stuff to the wagon. Okay. You tell me That's when cool. to stop. What is going on, you guys? It is the Saturday of Labor Day weekend. That's right, the weekend where we as a nation come together in solidarity and celebrate. <sighs> Labor Day is a federal holiday, the American labor movement, achievements. The achievements of the American workforce. And what better way to celebrate the workforce than coming out here to the local flea market and working some more. We're gonna get out here and look for stuff we could buy super cheap and flip online for profit. Hey, how's it going? I'm not sure your belt. Oh, uh, uh, I'll let it go for like five. Five bucks? Okay. Let's see. Just gonna leave. Two bucks. Two bucks? Yeah. Okay. And I'll do the belt too if you want it for two bucks too. Okay. I appreciate that. Steelers, huh? I believe Bigfoot. I do believe. Do you guys believe in Bigfoot? Yeah, actually, we watched an episode. There, there are crazier things in the world right. other than a monkey that walks on its, you know. If giraffes are real, I, I feel like a, a Bigfoot is much less weird. Two, four. Six, eight, 10, 12, 14, two on the belt, 16. How much are your women's jackets? Um, I'm asking between like 10 and five. Sure. This white series one? Five bucks. Okay. So I got, I think I got seven hats in the belt, so that's 16, right? And then five, so it'd be 21. You get eight bucks on the Toomey garment bag back there? Yeah. Is there anything wrong with it? Um, Just like normal wear and tear? Yeah, it's normal wear and tear. But it's, I've had it for a Yeah, that's not bad. Might be dirty. Oh yeah, I don't want to get wet. Yeah, I'll do eight bucks on that. I'm gonna add it to the wagon here. See any jackets or anything back there? There's a cool Columbia back there, but... Columbia? It's a cool color. Never seen that before. It's a good color. It's got a big on me, though. Long as you do, Yeah. What are you on for that one? I'd like to get 10. Yeah, that's fine. Yeah. Your, your prices are great, for sure. You actually want to sell stuff. A lot right. of people out here. It seems, it seems like they want to hold on to their stuff. 29 plus 10, so we 39. 30. 30. 30. 40. There you go. Thank y'all so much. We appreciate the deal. Good luck. Soul Caliber 2 for GameCube. Can you look that up real fast? Soul Caliber 2 GameCube. We got a Fat PS2, Super Mario Galaxy, PS1. I mean, this is the rapid hit here. Oh, yeah. It's not, you have to go way back. This here, you can just hit the ball. Oh, well. That's pretty nice. The miss, man. The miss. Yeah, the do, yeah. yeah. So, I have two bucks on that one. Two bucks. But the cop catcher was just in your car, then you asked you why you wouldn't. Yeah, why you got it. So I, I play baseball with the kids. Yeah, 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 man. I play baseball. Did you do a dollar on this one? Yeah. Okay, cool. Thanks, man. What's up, buddy? Yep. What you got on that? $45 for shipping. $40 for Now let's see what he's asking. What you got on that one? 20? I'll do 20 on that. Do you got any change yet? I got a bunch of hundreds today. I know, everybody's like, oh, I don't know. Big Zo? Let me go. Well, just hold on to this. Let me go see if I can buy anything from him and I'll come back. 20, I'll do 20 on that though. 
There's Mama Zo. Mama Zo, you got any change today? Well, uh, the 20s? I got a bunch of hundreds. I'm looking for 20s. Okay. That's a big money man. Coming big right money back. man? There he is. <laughs> That's the man with all the money. I'm going to have to buy something. Oh, is that a CPAP? Man, this guy just sold a beautiful ping bag down there. A bunch of clubs for 120, man. If that, if that guy wouldn't have got it, I would have got it. But he got the deal first. Well, I would have got it if I would have got that. I, 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 I said, if you don't get it, I'm going to get it. it was I, that good I of saw a deal. you take off by the fans yeah, when they got was family. Family. about it. I said, dude, that's a great deal. Yeah. yeah it's a beautiful bag. And then he's got like 10 or 15 clubs in the bag, all pink. So. Oh, man. Yeah. Newer stuff too, not like old stuff. What is it? I know, we, we gotta yeah. stop. You gotta stop. You gotta change if I buy something from you? Any yeah, you got it. Okay. What do you want on the CPAT? Uh, that one's just got the battery. I'm gonna do 50 on that one. 50? Yeah, that's a little better one. I think those go for like maybe 300. Okay. Air Sense 10. So what, I'll take a chance on it today since you're hooking me up with the change. Okay. So I'll, I'll do 50 on that. Alright, get some change for you. Hey, good buddy. Awesome. Thanks, man. Welcome, buddy. Appreciate, Appreciate it. Appreciate you. Yeah, I wish I could have got down there first. And then the guy told me about it, then when I got down there, the other guys, he scooped Yeah, doesn't last very long. Yeah, That's funny. the thing about these these weekends, man. There's a lot of good stuff, but it goes so fast. Yeah. All right, thank you. Right. 20 bucks. Thanks, man. Yep, good luck. Good, how are you? Good. Is this your stuff? Yeah. Oh, okay. No, Wait. not mine. Okay. No. Yeah, it's just the, it's my stuff in the pile over there. Got it, got it. Yeah. Okay, cool. Are your clothes like a set price or? Not really. It's kind of just, I've been doing like $3 on the shirt like things and like $5 on like the sweatshirt jacket okay. situations. Um, well, it's a lot of the more I dig, the more fun. Yeah, it's just kind of like a never ending pile over here. <laughs> yeah. These Nike shorts are cool. Okay, so we got, what you got over there? I got two hats. That's him on the Masters hats. I don't know what his price was on that. Okay. Is that two jackets? Two jackets. Okay. Uh, two vests, some shorts, polo, polo, another jacket, and that's kids. So yeah, 20 for the jackets. 20, 20 for all the jackets or each? 20 for all the jackets. Okay, okay. She's got two, you got two. So yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. 30 for all? Yeah. Yeah, 30 for everything but the hats. Uh, 30 for everything but the hats. What do you want on your hats? Uh, we'll do $2 on that one, 10 on the new one. Yeah, that's fair. What do you want on the Funkos? 40. Two. 175 yeah. for them all, man. You and I were doing the same thing. We're like, wait up, where are we at? That's how much each? 875 a piece. I'll do it. Cool. Yeah. Some of the box conditions are bad, but like I said, they sell. Yeah. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, okay, we're at 42 for the other stuff. All right, let me, let me pay for pay for that real fast. Oh, man, more master stuff. I want that. I want that. Uh, oh, yeah, that one's super cool. What you looking at? Here, what's that up? master's puller there. Uh, it's like an old one. Look at that. Bobby the, Jones collection. With the uh, little Those. golfers. Yeah. Super cool. So what were we on that? We have 42 with the other stuff. 42 Which in was the... 42 plus 175? Yeah, I'm at uh, five on that shirt. Yeah, so that was 42 including that shirt? No. Okay. 42 so, is what's in there. Okay, so 47 with the shirt plus 175. What's, what's that? What does that add up to? Too early for math. It is too early. Nope. You haven't opened the calculator Four, yet. Forty-seven. <laughs> That's how early it is. Forty-seven plus one seventy-five is two twenty-two. Twenty-two. You got change for three hundred. We do two twenty-two. I do it. Okay. Awesome. Oh, cool Lululemon bag. Those are all the rage nowadays. It's literally the best thing in the world. It really is. I have like the sage green one. It's my favorite. I want like so many other colors. Yes. <laughs> what are you looking at, man? Seventy-eight. Yeah. Give eighty to him. Thank you. Yeah, we can do yeah. two twenty. That'd be easy. Okay. Yeah. I was like, awesome. you're asking way too many math questions. Would you take thirty grand on the Beanie Babies? <laughs> hey, we're starting like forty-five actually. So. Really? Forty-five grand. Forty. Oh, five forty-five really grand. Okay. Yeah. yeah. Thirty. Thirty was too good. Too good. Oh yeah, man. 
You can pay off your house with those. I don't know. Haley, I'm gonna go put this stuff in the car and just come back and get all the Funko Pops. Is that what you wanna do? I'll just put them back for you. Yeah, yeah. I'll, I'll just drop this off and come right back. Do you wanna keep looking or go to the car with me? Give me the keys. <laughs> Can I go up? Okay, let's go strip back that way. Love you so much. I'll keep looking, looking for more deals. Don't we'll see anything else on this first row. So I'm gonna go check up with Haley. Reload the wagon with the Funko box. Probably go back to the car again. And then see what else we can find. I think so. Yeah. All right. Back to the car again. Are you serious? Yeah. Well, we're already dropping stuff. Are you serious? We just went to the car. We haven't even made it down the first row yet. We've already had to make two trips back to the car. Morning. Another too late. Yep. Sold it all. It's okay. It's our fault. Our fault for being late. I believe you. Next time. You got a, a brown eye or blue eyes? I have blue eyes. You got a brown. Yeah. I want a baby. Looks like a her. A blue eyes. Mm -hmm. I want a boy. Boy? Okay. We like boys. I'd be good grandma. I'd be real good grandma. Okay. We'll just bring it to you She's and you can watch him while we while we shop. Yeah. I request that. I'm gonna have a baby got a blue eyes. Blue eyes and Haley's like everything else. That'll be a pretty baby. I've always wanted one of these. The comfy. Yeah. What you want for the comfy? Uh, on that table is five. five bucks. I'll do five for the comfy. You think these uh, M and M's in here are still edible? Uh, I wouldn't think so. I kind of want to open it and see what it is. There's no candy in it. No candy? There's no candy. In what, it. What's I think in it? Like stickers and cards and just kids' toy things and whatever. I don't know. Huh. I never, uh, never really saw what was in it. Yeah. But I was trying to look it up and. What do you want for it? Uh, five. Anything on that table is five. Five bucks. I'll do five just. And they're good ones. Five bucks just to see what's inside. <laughs> Thanks, man. Are you gonna open it? Yeah, eventually. You want a bag? Uh, no, we'll throw, we got a wagon down here. Appreciate you. Got a pretty good selection of video games here. Yeah. But anytime there's a nice curated collection, you know it's gonna be. Pricey. You know it's gonna be pricey. Yeah, yeah. exactly. Yeah. Humor me, humor me. What are some prices? What you got on the 3DS XL? Uh, I tried to do 250 on uh, Facebook, but out here is a flea market, so probably 200 out here. 50 200. Off my... Get the jungle green. Is that the jungle pack too? Yep. Which one on that? Uh, I could do 250 on that one controller. Off 84 controllers, you want for 300? Or... Okay. I could probably knock 50 bucks off or something like that for you. Yeah. Too. I appreciate it. Man. I know it's tough to sell out here. This is cool. Yeah. It's well, nice seeing good stuff. I've got you know? collect seeing uh, Phoenix resale bike by me out. So. Dude, if, if he was here, he would, he would See, buy I'd you out. See, I'd like to sell it all to him. I was thinking about it because that looter's like 300 bucks. Those are factory sealed Pokemon. Those you get graded, they're worth like 800 to 1200. That's factory sealed. Yeah, that's not well. worth as much. Yeah. Yeah. But yeah, I got That is super cool. Yeah, I didn't want to you should, you here. should, uh, Caleb. I mean, he's he lives in Kentucky. Yeah, but, he comes but if you got more stuff than this, like, he might make the drive, man, because he loves stuff like this. All these yeah. are sealed. Yeah, all these are sealed. I mean, there's that's got a little tear, but they're most yeah. perfect. These aren't worth as much as a PS4. Yeah, I got that's lots so cool, of stuff. Though. It'd be nice to sell it all to one person, you know. Well, what well, would you take for everything? I'd have to think about that calculator. Think about it. Get the calculator got, out, man. I got so much stuff in there still to pull out. But uh I would love to know, get I would love to see it because people in the video see, are gonna I, be like, what would he have taken for everything? Yeah. Because we got one, money, you know. I had one guy um that said he would pay a good bit from New York, but he wanted me to meet halfway. He's on whatnot. Yeah. I heard about whatnot from, from uh Caleb. This one I got really cheap. <laughs> this sells for like three hundred. That's crazy. Lunar 2 yeah, complete. Yes, so I paid for that. Um, on what not? No. What, what'd Yard you pay sale. for it? Yard sale. What'd you pay for Give it? Yes. Five bucks. Dollar. A dollar. <laughs> wow. That's crazy. <laughs> yeah. uh, my buddy Chris, yeah. he got us some kind of sealed, like Yu-Gi-Oh game for PS1 in a garage sale for like 50 cents. 
Um, and I don't, ungraded, it was selling for like $2,500. I don't, I don't know if you got it graded or not, but uh, we've been doing a, this for I three years, a, man. I've never found stuff like I this. I had a Halo one, uh, I sold for three fifty, and then I had a, uh, a Halo two that was Japanese steel book. Yeah. Does this laptop work? It has a password on it, but what you can do is you can, there's a video to show you how to take it off. Like yeah. you gotta get a thumb drive yeah. and follow the steps and you take it off. It's like a six or $700 laptop. I probably do 200 out here for it. Yeah. Would like more, but it's got the password on it. So. I understand, I understand. What's the best you could do on Luigi's Mansion? Uh, I just want to buy something from you. Pay you back for, oh, look out. I got it, I got it priced at 50 bucks. What, uh, I could do 40 or something else in and throw another GameCube in. Um, so like, we sports disc only? Yeah, you want those for 40 for you? 40 for both of these? I guess so. Yeah. yeah I, I usually get 50 bucks on that. On the Luigi? Yeah, I usually get 50 bucks for that. We sports, I get 10 or 20, but it's for you, so. I'll, I'll, do, I'll, do, I'll do 50 for both. Okay, I appreciate it. Because I want to I wanna leave with a good taste in your mouth, you know? Yeah. Because I want you to email me. And I want to know Harry what you Tor Harry Tornado, Tornado gmail.com because I mean we got money. Oh, we I got, know. We got money, and oh, if I don't I have money, Caleb's got money. I know. You got change for hundred on you? Or let me just buy some more stuff. How about that? Okay. Give, you, give you a hundred bucks. Okay. And I'll just keep adding stuff to the wagon. Okay. You tell me That's when cool. to stop. <laughs> buy whatever you want. <laughs> All right. So we got this. Uh, let's see. We Sports Resort. That's complete. I got two of those. Two of those? I usually get 40, but I will, I'll work with you if you want them. Okay. I'll get five bucks on that Pokemon thing if you can use this brand new. So got the bowl. I don't Pokemon know. serving bowl? I feel like that's oh, something. That's so something. With all this right here, I'll do 10 bucks, all that there and that. Let's see, let's five just, on that 15 for all this right here. Pokemon bowl. All right, let me, let's add it. I get, get free stuff and whatnot, so. Oh yeah, Might as well give it I've actually never won a giveaway on whatnot. Yeah. Surprisingly, I've entered probably 50 of them. I've won, I've won about three to five thousand dollars and stuff. That's crazy. How long have you been doing whatnot? Um, ever since last year, I think. Okay. We started like January, I think. Uh, you got Mario. What is the Galaxy? You got Mario. Uh, I get 25 to 30 all day. I do 20 and 15 on that. I get 20 all day, so um, 35. 35. This? Oh. Yeah. Uh, lowest I could do. Give me 30 bucks. $30 on that. Alright, I'll do 30 on this. Thank you so I much. What was your name? Tim. Tim. Awesome. We appreciate I, I the deal. I've seen you out here before. had different stuff than this. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. had like a NASCAR thing you bought from me one time. Oh yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Awesome. Thanks, man. So our Labor Day weekend flea market trip was pretty successful. I would say very successful. We did pay up for a couple things, but that's kind of the trade-off you get when going to the flea market. Like we got there around 6.45 a.m. and we're leaving at 8.08 .08 a.m. And so to get like basically an entire car full of stuff in that short amount of time, I'm willing to pay a little bit more for it. If we went to garage sales today, we'd probably have to keep shopping until Absolutely, and we'd noon. have to drive around and we'd be exhausted. Yeah, and we'd spend so much time going to sales that were the greatest yard sale ever, and you get there and it's just maybe clothes and Tupperware. At least it is for our area, for, for sure. For our area, at least. <laughs> So I wanna give you guys a quick recap of just a couple items we picked up today. Not everything, just a couple things that I think will be valuable for you guys to hear. So let's go ahead and start with this CPAP machine that we got from our friend Zoe for only 50 bucks. This is the ResMed AirSense 10 Auto Set model. I do have to get it plugged in and test to see how many clinical hours it has, how long it's been used for. But as long as it's under like 50 or 100 hours of total use, we should be able to sell this on a website called Second Wind CPAP. I think it's just secondwindcpap.com. There's a couple different websites that buy used CPAP machines, but you cannot sell this on eBay or Mercari or Facebook or anything. Do not try and let, sell it on those platforms. It will get taken down. Look for one of those websites that buys used CPAP machines. They will usually uh, send you money directly to your PayPal account. They'll send you a label to put it on the box to send it to them. Super easy to work with. I think we've sold this exact same model in the past, and I want to say we got like 300 bucks for it. It just depends on the condition and the accessories, and again, how many clinical hours of use that it has. But 50 bucks, again, I think we should get about $300 for it. In used condition, these are selling for like seven to $900 on those 
website. So usually they're gonna pay a little bit less than half of whatever they could get. Second of all, I got this Comfy, which is like one of those, it's kinda like a Snuggie, but it's a hoodie. And I don't know if it's an as seen on TV product. It says as seen on Shark Tank, but I will say that if you ever find those products that say as seen on TV, I would not list those on eBay either. Generally, they're very uh, quick to give you a Vero, so stuff like that I would usually pass on. I bought this for personal use because I found one at Target like two days ago and I wanted to buy it, but it was $50. And I found this one for five bucks, and obviously that's a much better deal than 50. Looks to be in good shape, no stains or holes or anything. Get some good use out of this when it's not hot. It's very hot. I think it's even got elastic on the sleeves. I can imagine that if it were cold outside, this would be extremely cozy. Uh, but right now I am burning alive, so I will take it off. But five bucks, tell me this isn't a steal and a half. Next, I wanna open up this M&M thing. He did say there was gonna be no candy in here, so I, I don't know if I believe him or not, but we'll see. Oh, there it goes. All right, moment of truth, five bucks. Was it worth it? Okay, we got some. No candy, no candy, no candy. We got a, a vintage hacky sack or something, M&M's hacky sack. We got a little, whatever that is, like a snow globe or something. We got an M&M yo-yo. We got an M&M bouncy ball. And then we got a big little package here of, oh, it's a time capsule. That's what it's supposed to be. It's, it's got a little label here. You're supposed to fill out your information and then put it back in the time capsule, I guess, and then bury it. Uh, so I don't think anybody buried this, obviously. So we got some more stationery and things like that. Things you need to know about your M&M's Millennium Time Capsule. Look at there, and some stickers. So five bucks, honestly, the thing is probably worth it. Like we can probably just give this stuff away on whatnot. And it's cool, it's all vintage from the year 2000. So it's, that's, it's truly vintage. So I think five bucks, well spent. That big lot of Funko Pops that we got, $175. I think they were like $8.75 each. So however many that works out to be. Uh, I didn't really look at them closely. I saw some Harry Potter ones that were like big and I saw some Star Wars. And when he said 175 bucks for everything, I just jumped on it. We're gonna sell that stuff on whatnot. And at 8.75 a piece, especially for those big ones, I don't think we're gonna lose money on anything. I will say if you're buying Funkos to sell on eBay, you should probably take the time to look at what you're buying and maybe check sold comps to make sure it's worth your time. Uh, but for whatnot, usually Funkos do really well in there. That was what it was originally created for. It was a selling platform specifically for Funko Pops, so it's very easy to find buyers for Funko Pops on whatnot. So that was our thought process going into that. But I'm really confident with that deal. We bought a bunch of stuff from that guy in the past. He actually sold us a big lot of Funko Pops last month for our Mia Esperanza charity auction. Uh, and that was a great deal as well. So I trusted him going forward. Uh, and I don't think he did us wrong this time either. So I covered the CPAP information. We opened up the M&M time capsule. I talked about the comfy snuggy thing, not to sell those on eBay. And now we need to talk about that video game guy at the end. I think we got the copy of Luigi's Mansion complete in box. We got a Wii Sports disc only, Wii Sports Resort complete in box, Super Smash Bros. Brawl for Nintendo Wii complete in box, Mario Kart complete, and then all those random action figures in that Pokemon Bowl or something, all for like, I think we paid him $120 for everything. So that was a little expensive, I will say. He definitely knew what he had, but again, it was so nice getting out to the flea market and seeing all that great quality inventory available for purchase. Like if I had the ability to sell video games on Amazon, like Caleb Phoenix Resale, I probably would have bought a bunch of stuff from that guy. Even not having that ability, I still hope there's an opportunity there in the future, which is why I was willing to pay up for some stuff this time. So he would be more willing to email us his information and tell us what kind of price he's thinking for his entire collection. Because if we can sell it on whatnot or eBay or maybe wholesale some stuff to Caleb, he can sell on his Amazon account. Uh, I do think there's some money to be made there. So. Very, very cool to see all that quality stuff at the flea market, all the sealed video games and all the, the consoles and everything. You just don't see that stuff every day. So Tim, thank you so much for bringing all that out of the flea market and being willing to, to sell us the small amount of stuff that you did. I hope to hear from you soon. Harry Tornado at gmail.com. I do think it's funny that Labor Day weekend has turned out to be one of the busiest weekends for us in a long, long time. I just wanna show you guys this pile of packages we have going out. Uh, and it's currently Sunday, so we still have Monday as well because the post office is not open. And we still have like 30 more whatnot orders to pack and 27 more eBay orders to pack in addition to this entire pile. This is a mixture of eBay, whatnot, 
and our website, we released some new hoodies, uh, some new hoodie merch. Uh, they look like this over here the other day. I think we sold like 40 of them so far. Uh, so thank you guys, everybody that's bought one of these and thank you for everybody that's bought something on whatnot or eBay or everything. This is, this is pretty crazy <laughs> and I'm excited to, uh, take all this stuff to the post office on Tuesday and see what our final stack looks like. But thank you guys so much for watching today's video. If you've made it this far, I assume that you've liked at least one aspect of the video. So hitting that like button for us down below should be no problem at all. If you guys wanna see another flea market video from us, you can click this one right over here. It's definitely a banger.